Welcome back trainers and we're going to be taking a look at some duos going up against Tapu Bulu. So it's going to be extremely weak to poison. We're going to be duoing this with a few of my friends here. Now, I do have Mega Gengar. There's going to be one where I don't have Mega Gengar. And as well as my opponent, I have one friend who doesn't have all poisons. As a matter of fact, they've only got Mega Venusaur. And then they do have some pretty strong Pokemon to back it up, which it's still going to be able to be duoed that way as well. But poison is just going to be that much stronger because of the fairy and grass typing. Now, this is going to be interesting and fun to do because one, if you don't have too many people, you're going to be able to go around with just two of you if you have somewhat semi-strong poison types and you're going to be able to take them out. Roserade is going to be absolutely fantastic, easily accessible, no exclusive moves, poison jab, sludge bomb, period. It's always been the best poison type, always will be other than the Megas. Uh, you have Mega Beedrill, which is going to be number one. Mega Gengar, because it doesn't have a poison quick move. If it had a poison quick move, it would be better than Beedrill. Uh, Beedrill just has Poison Jab and then Sludge Bomb. Now, the specialty that I have here that I'm excited to use and show you all is my level 50 Toxicroak. Didn't think I would ever use it for anything. Don't know why I powered it up. Thought maybe I'd try it out in Master League one day if I was an extremely risky fool. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? But um, here we are. We got something very weak to poison. So think of uh, like a, I don't know, Rayquaza, very weak to ice, right? Also weak to dragon. Now, even if you had a level 50 dragon and a say level 40 ice type, you're gonna be better off using that ice type because it's just gonna be four times effective and just dealing that much more damage compared to the dragon that's even higher level, powered up higher. So keep that in mind going into this here. So uh, let's see what we have going on, folks. I thought I'd just drop this for you here because is this thing even good and useful? It has some play. It has some play, but at the end of the day, maybe you just want to go around and do some raids and have a little fun and maybe just, I don't know, farm the items that you get from the raids, right? They did deduct some of the rare candies you're going to be getting and increased it for the Go Battle League by one. Come on, man. What's with the stinginess that we're seeing? Oh, and by the way, speaking of stingy, we're going to see me complete an entire raid Duo here, I got it all on film from beginning to end. It kicks me out and I'm not able to go back in or even try to catch it or anything. So it just straight up ripped me off. If I was to report tickets on lost raid passes for situations that we're about to see like that, I would probably have like, look, look, let's, let me, let me try to put all, pull out a number here that's realistic, but not over doing it. Let me think here. Raid errors. Huh. I had to file a ticket every single time. We're probably looking at about mm, around $150. I mean, it's, you know, that's a you know good chunk of money. You know, you're not going to take over the world with that, but $150 wasted. That's me individually. Think about everybody on mass. Okay. Niantic is just getting, it's not like if we complete a raid, the Niantic is losing something. We're gaining resources, but it's not like, oh, well, I'm done here. The point I'm trying to make is that this is happening to a lot of different people and people are simply not reporting it because it's like, ah, a dollar, ah, who cares? And that's, you know, you, you keep on putting that off and saying that and eventually it starts accumulating and adding up to the point where we've went beyond a hundred dollars, uh, well over, uh, I would think. Well, pr look, around a hundred, 150, who knows? A lot of errors, okay? I know games have bugs, but man, oh man. It's getting a little bit old. And now that I saw them release their trailer for some new game that they're making, um, you know, maybe their focus isn't completely on Pokemon and fixing the bugs that they do have because of the income is so steady. The voice of people that are complaining may seem loud to us because we're all looking at the same place. But in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scale of all the players, it's just a little pebble thrown into the ocean. It's really not doing anything at all, right? And they know that that's the inevitable truth at the end of the day that they can just keep on going here without actually fixing some of these core game breaking bugs now they are they're they're forcing themselves to fix go battle league now because we're approaching worlds and this is what it took do you see what i'm do you see what's happening here all right but look i can continue to go down that discussion for the entire video what we're going to talk about really quick is how can you dodge perfectly? Well, it's definitely going to require practice because every move is different from when they start 
and the time in which they're going to actually hit you for the damage. Okay, some are slower, some are faster. You know, you just got to be on your toes. But something that you can look at that is a good indicator is the screen will flash yellow. If you have the sound on too, that's another good way that I like to play because I really rely on that sound of the damage that they do with the quick move. And if it kind of loses its consistency that I can expect a charge move or if they kind of sit still or if you're kind of paying attention to around the energy that you think that they would have around when they're about to throw. Sometimes they're a little crazy and they just keep going and they never throw. So that's something that could occur. But the screen will flash yellow like you just seen there. And then you'll go ahead and make your dodge. Now, something that I've become conditioned to, I don't do it all the time. As you can see, when I do some dodges here, I'm not double dodging, but is dodge once to the side and then swipe to the other side. Now, the reason why I started doing that in the beginning when I started doing raids is because they were so broken. My initial dodge when I was doing it on time was just not giving me the dodge. I was still getting damage. So I had to figure out a way to, to navigate around this broken game. So that's how I, I've just become conditioned to double dodge. It may look like, oh, he doesn't know how to dodge, but no, that's just a product of this game being broken from the get-go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get into the one where I do believe it uh, kicks me out at the end here. So shout out to my friend Yuri and everybody else who sent me raids. Really appreciate that. It's a fun little raid to do here. Such a weird Pokemon, I, I got to say. I honestly have, I have, do not like the design. I like the fact it's weak, very weak to poison, but it's just uh, one of those weird things. Anyway, uh, fun fact here. If um, It's a little tip, I should say. If you and your friend do have Megas and you're going to be going into this raid to do this duo, maybe you shouldn't go with your Megas head on first, both of you. One of you needs to put it for seconds for the second spot because what's going to happen is you'll get the boost for the poison for your whatever you put in there first. That's not your Mega. And then when their Mega goes down, your Mega goes in and then they get the boost and then you guys can continue on that strength of the attack boost, right? So it should be fun there. So let's see what we have going on here. Going to go that sludge bomb. Yeah, that's definitely going to be hurting. That thing hits pretty hard there. If it does have its grass move, though, that's going to be pretty nice. So I throw a Toxicroak here because I just love to... It's like, oh my goodness, I'm actually using a Toxicroak <laughs> up against a raid and it's better than uh, Megas. Well, there's two Megas that are better, but you know what I mean because of its poison typing. And you already know, poison is my favorite typing along with fighting. And then... Uh, I don't know what's going to be next, but definitely poison and fighting. All right. So Toxicroak is like, you know, my thing, right? Back in here with the Roserade. I have these built from back in the day because Roserade is just an all-star Pokemon, period. It's a, I, would, I wouldn't call it budget, but it's an all-around great Pokemon as far as its poison typing and its grass typing. It's going to be the best poison type non-Mega. And it's going to be a very good grass type attacker. It's not the best, but it's definitely going to be amazing. So maybe you want to make a team of those. You do what you got to do. Um, but what's going on here? Going for a sludge bomb. This thing is holding on by a sliver. Now, did I experience lag? Well, here you go. There it is. So it kicks me out. What's going on here? Okay. All right. Uh, didn't push back out. No. Did you see that error on the screen? Absolutely. But oh, it makes me revive my poke. So one, I used a raid pass. Two, I used my resources to revive. And three, I don't get crap. Lovely. So we're going to go ahead and do a little something here, a little treat. I'm going to go ahead and name one of my Pokemon. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next raid. Thank you, Niantic. I appreciate you continuously ripping us off all right moving on to the next one here Let's see what we're gonna get now if niantic allows me maybe we'll be able to encounter this raid uh this time you know after i've duoed it after i spent the raid after i've used the resources to revive and all that stuff maybe oh just maybe we're gonna be able to actually encounter it i don't know is that even a feature anymore encountering the raid boss if you use a um remote raid pass or a raid pass in general and you beat it maybe they took out the possibility to even encounter them anymore maybe it's just like well there's a 50 percent chance that you can encounter it uh, in a in a 50 percent chance that it'll just straight up run away right before you beat it and you don't even get an opportunity to get your items your items as well yeah let's, let's throw that into the mix because i didn't get to go through that sequence as well so you, you love the situation it's just great here anyways toxic Cook putting in that work and I wanted to throw it in here. <laughs> or are we going down quick? I think we're actually, 
I, st- I wasn't tapping right away because I was distracted by something. Athena was barking at something and I was telling her to stop barking, you know, and I uh, wasn't tapping for a second in the beginning. So I think we're behind by like a couple of seconds, but it it doesn't matter when it comes to this like four times weakness Pokemon. It's just going to go down. Uh, like I said, also in the beginning, Yuri is actually only going to have one poison. Other than that, she has level 50s, very strong uh, powered up stuff here, including a Moltres Shadow. So definitely going to be putting in the work. And it's actually going to be something good for you to see. So maybe somebody doesn't have all poisons on their team. Is it still doable? Yes. Uh, and I'm not sitting over here with like all 50s either. Gengar is, um, but I don't need that. I honestly just, I have another Roserade I can use. I could just do that. I have a 50. I'm not going to be using that because it does have community day moves, both bullet seed and weather ball are community day. And I don't want to uh, remove those. I just want to keep that for master. But if it was poison, it would be putting in the work. So just keep that in mind. You don't need 50s. Roserades are good. Poisons are good to go as well. Even Toxic Croak. Simply putting in the work and taking a ton of damage off the boss. So yeah, definitely a fun one to go. Let's see if we're able to get our items this time. Okay, we're looking good so far. All right, we got 15 uh, potions. Oh man, bless you, Niantic. Bless you. Thank you. I appreciate the 15 uh, potions, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're okay. This this video took a really hard sarcastic turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's just playing it off like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and catch this bull. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video and gals, please give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate the support. Really do. Got some new supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much. Ooh, critical catch. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.